In this lesson, we're going to be looking at creating an income and expenditure spreadsheet. So let's assume, for example, you were self-employed and you wanted to have a spreadsheet that would enable you to um, log all of your income, all of your expenses, and then also have a sheet where you can look at your net profit. Okay, so we'll begin with uh, opening up Microsoft Excel and we've got three sheets as standard, sheet one, two, and three. Now down at the bottom, I'm just going to double click onto sheet one. That will let me rename it. And this is going to be renamed to income. So in our income sheet, let's uh, have a few columns. So the first column is going to be, um, we'll call it customer. The second column is going to be amount. And the third column is going to be date. Okay, so let's just resize these a little bit. Now in, in fact I'll make them bold as well, now in customer we could have just some fictitious customers. Let's say you've done a, a complimentary therapy business so all of your customers were actually going to be individuals. So you could have for example John Smith, uh, you might have Anne Sinclair, oops, uh, or you may have Jane Andrews and we'll put one more, Alex. Uh, Smith as well. Okay, so there's our four customers. Now in our amount, um, let's say the first person paid us £15 or something, the next person was 20 the next one was 18 and the final one was 21 Now this column here, I want these to be displayed as currency. I don't want to see them just simply as numbers. So if I click on the column header B, it's going to select all of B, then use the keyboard shortcut control 1 which will bring up the format sales box and then I can just choose currency to two decimal places and click OK and that will make these as um, as currency cells. Uh, again I'm just going to select the whole cell or sorry the whole column just by clicking B and I'm going to center align these just to make it a little bit easier to read and the date would be the date that we received it so let's say for instance this might be the first of the fourth 14, oops, uh, first, uh, fourth, 14. Uh, the next one might be, let's say, the 10th of the fourth. Then we could have, for example, the 30th of the fourth. And finally, let's have the second of the fifth. Okay, so that's just a way to keep track of your income. And of course, you could put a bit more details if you wanted in there. So for example, we could put an extra column in here, and it might be in here, item. Um, so again, let's say uh, you were a complimentary therapist or a hairdresser or something. So you could have um, cut and dry. Uh, in this one, you could have perm, let's say. Um, we could have wet cut in there, and for Smith, we could have, uh, let's say, a beard trim. Okay, uh, obviously these figures are totally fictitious, but it gives you an idea. So you could have customer, item, amount, and the date is received. I'm just going to center align that as well. Okay. Now on this particular sheet, we could have in this box here a running total of our income, but we're actually going to put that onto a third sheet in just a moment. All right, so that's our income sheet. Now our expenditure sheet, we're just going to move over onto sheet two, and I'll double click so I can rename, and we'll call this expenses. Okay, and we could do the same sort of thing here. So in our first column, we might have supplier, uh, in our second column we could have product, third would be amount, and uh, fourth would be date. Okay, and these are all of the things that we're spending out. So we're an individual, self-employed, and we're spending out. So based on our income sheet, we're assuming that we're a hairdresser. So in this one, for example, we might have, um, uh, let's say our product would be a set of scissors. Uh, we might also have hairspray. Uh, we might have a um, haircut cloak, one of those ones that they put around gents. And finally, uh, let's have a brush set. 
And the amount for these, again, these are just going to be fictitious amounts, but we'll say 5, 3, 10, and 15. And once again, I want these to be currency. So I'm going to click on C, the column header. Control 1 brings up the format cells where I can choose currency. OK on that. And I'm going to center align that as well. Um, and then in here, we're just going to have some fictitious supplies. OK. And also, we'll put the date in. So in this case, um, once again, we'll go for, let's say, the 15th of the 4th. Uh, then we'll go for the 18th of the 4th. We'll go for the 21st. And finally, the 28th. OK. And once again, we could have here, if we wanted to, um, a formula that would calculate everything in the amount. So we could have a running expense. But like I say, we're going to have a third sheet that's going to give us everything we want to know. So the idea is that you continue to add items row by row as you spend out throughout your financial year. And in your income, if we flip back to our income sheet, you would continue to add items row by row for everything that you're taking in, all of your income. So finally, we now move on to our third sheet, sheet three, which I'm going to double click. And this is going to be, uh, just call it totals. So the idea here is that we want to look at the other two sheets, calculate the income and the expenses and work out the profit. And this is how we do it. So we'll click on cell B2, could be any cell, and we'll just type total income. I'm just going to make that column a little bit wider so we can see it all. In the next one now we'll have total uh, expenses. Okay, and it's as simple as this. We click on our cell C2, and we basically want to reference another worksheet. Okay, now if we were to go back to our income sheet, if we were to sum up everything in here, okay, we would use a formula something like this. We would say equals sum, open brackets, highlight all of our cells and close our bracket and hit return and that would total everything up there okay but we don't want to have to do that on this sheet we want to do it on the other sheet and we want to say basically total everything from cell c2 and we'll go down to something like c1000 assuming that we wouldn't take anything more than a thousand items if it were more we would just increase that number so like with any formula, we press equals, and now we need to reference the other sheet. But before we do that, we'll go equals sum, open brackets. Now, number one, it's a certain cell in another sheet. Now, if we flick over to another sheet while we're mid writing of a formula, we'll click on income and click on cell C2. You can see that up here in the formula bar, it's still continuing the formula even though we're on a separate sheet okay so equal sum of income which is our, the name of our sheet c2 and then we use our colon and i'm going to click on the final cell here c5 just to show you that it works we close off our bracket and press return and it will flick us back to our totals sheet we go click in that cell and we have a look at the formula you can see exactly what's happening so equals sum then in brackets income which is the name of the sheet c2 it puts an exclamation mark to reference another sheet colon income c5 okay so it's basically saying sum up everything on the income sheet between c2 and c5 all right so flip back to our totals of course, I want to extend it because when we put more things into our income sheet, I don't want it to. I don't want to have to keep coming into this worksheet and updating the formula. So I'm just going to change that to say 1,000. Okay. So it's going to always say everything between C2 and C1,000. Just to give you an example, if I flick back into my income sheet and I put another line in here, and we'll see, we'll put Lee James in, and he's just coming in for a standard haircut. 
that's going to cost ten pounds and it's going to be um, it's going to be on say the fourth the fifth fourteen okay now we flick back to our total sheet and it's gone up from seventy four to eighty four and the same way with the other sheets I can click on the cell the whole column there C control one to bring up the format cells and choose currency so it's 84 so that's a running total of our total income okay so any items I put into the income sheet will automatically get added into this column uh, into this cell C2 so that's my income now my expenses is done exactly the same way click on the cell we want and we choose equals sum and then open our bracket we click across into our other sheet expenses and we choose the first cell and then we use our colon and our last cell but I'm going to do it directly in here I'm going to choose 1000 so I do everything between C2 and C1000 close my bracket and hit return and we'll flick back to the other sheet okay so our total expenses at the moment are 33 pounds and just to show you this works if I go across to expenses and we'll put another item in here uh, this time we're going to go for uh, bulk hair gel and that's going to cost us £25 okay and that's going to have been bought on the 29th of the 4th and we should see now our total expenditure go up by £25 which it has to 58 okay so we look at the formula we've got equal sum of expenses C2 to C1000 okay now you'll notice the difference in the two formulas here the first one says income C2 to income C1000 the second one because I actually went in and changed it it's adjusted it slightly so it hasn't put expenses before now it doesn't really matter because it knows that it's referencing that other sheet and we proved that just now when we added in the extra value so for example on 58 at the moment I go back in here and change that to 15 we should see it drop to 48 which it does so either way will work it doesn't really matter some people prefer to put it in both places just so you explicitly know exactly what's going on the point is it's referencing the other sheets in the same way finally what we want to do now is we want to look at profit so our profit is simply going to be our income minus our expenses okay and that's just a basic Excel formula so we say equals and we click on C2 and then we subtract away C3 and then press return and there we go there's our profit of 36 pounds okay so our total income 84 total expenses 48 and our profit of 36 now just to give you an example if I go back into my income and I'm going to put in one more item and we'll say Andrew uh, Collins um, and he's going to have a wedding package okay don't know what's in that but let's assume that it's quite expensive and we're going to charge 100 pounds and he had that on the 5th of the 5th 14 so you should see now in our totals our total income has jumped up to 184 our expenses are still the same and our profit has automatically been calculated to 136 pounds all right so there's one more thing that you might want to do in this sheet and that is to work out approximately how much tax you'd pay so at the moment um, if you're in the UK you're self-employed you can assume a roughly around about 20 percent tax of course it will vary depending on how much you earn so you will need to check that but let's assume that if you had roughly 20 percent uh, tax then what you could say is create another column which is approx tax uh, if you're doing self-assessment and that type of thing so you want to calculate roughly how much you need to put by and again this is just a basic Excel formula now so we're going to say equals and we'll take our profit I'm going to multiply it which is the asterisk by 0 0.2 in other words it's going to take 20% of the 136 all right uh, press equals on that so 27 pounds 20 so that's approximately what tax you would pay at 20% all right but like I say you will need to check exactly what percentages you are uh, liable to pay that's just an example of how you would calculate tax if you were approximating it at 20% all right so that's how you set up
an Excel spreadsheet to do your basic income, your expenses and your totals and of course you might want to make it look a little bit fancier, change the font sizes, the column widths and that kind of thing, maybe put some colour in. But the three sheets, totals, expenses and income should give you enough information there of how to create a basic income and expenditure spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that, see you in the next tutorial.